Hello, I'm Dr. Farah Hindley, Senior Consultant Physician, Diabetologist and Director, Internal Medicine, Fortis Hiranandani Hospital, Vashi. Today, I had received a question whether normal cholesterol guarantees a healthy heart. So actually, cholesterol plays an important role in maintaining the heart healthy. In fact, some of the studies have shown that those people who had heart problems, in 75% of them, they had abnormal cholesterol levels. But heart health depends on multiple factors, out of which one is the cholesterol levels. Other factors which are responsible for keeping the heart healthy is one is hypertension. If your BP is high, your heart is not healthy. Sugars, if it's uncontrolled, it will affect the heart in a bad way. If you're obese, if you're a smoker, if you do not exercise, and there are certain genetic factors which are responsible for maintaining your heart healthy. So definitely cholesterol contributes in a big way to keep your heart healthy. So what exactly it is? It's the test which we do is a lipid profile which measures your total cholesterol as well as the various components of cholesterol. Now total cholesterol is divided into sub uh, con uh, different components like one is the LDL which is a low density lipoprotein which is a bad fat. And then we have HDL, which is a high density lipoprotein, which is a good fat. And then we have VLDL and lipoproteins, which are also bad fats. And also there is triglyceride, which is also a bad fat. These together comprises the lipid profile. So now the aim is to keep the total cholesterol less than 150. These days, we target LDL, that is low-density lipoprotein, and we want it less than 70 to maintain a healthy heart, and also HDL. We want HDL in males to be more than 40, and in ladies, more than 50. In fact, if your HDL is more than 60, it's a major major plus for you because HDL in fact helps in excreting out LDL from your blood and is a major contributor in maintaining a healthy heart. So how do you manage this? One is first is lifestyle modification. You have to avoid taking oils and ghee basically bad fats or saturated fats. So the consumption of oil or ghee which is allowed in a day for a person is not more than one teaspoon. So one is limit your fat intake, avoid saturated fats, avoid deep fried foods, fast food. In non-vegetarian food, you have to avoid red meats. White meats or lean meats are better compared to red meats. Secondly, go for regular physical activity every day. It has to be a sustained activity. Keep your weight under control. If you are a smoker and if you are an alcoholic, you have to stop or quit smoking and stop consuming alcohol. Maintaining weight is very important because obesity contributes to major illnesses and diseases in your body. And with lifestyle modification, if your cholesterol levels do not come to the desired levels, then we have to prescribe medication. So your doctor would advised you regarding lifestyle and also if it's not normal to start on medicines. Different medicines are available. The commonly used ones are statins and we have many other medications also. In case if a patient does not tolerate statin or has side effects then we give the other anti-cholesterol medicines. And of course it has to be taken for life because if you stop taking medicines you may get a rebound increase in the cholesterol levels. So definitely cholesterol is a major contributor as far as heart health is concerned and keeping the cholesterol levels will contribute in a great way in keeping your heart healthy but also you have to see about other risk factors and manage them as well because it is a multifactorial cause for keeping the heart uh, healthy. That is all I would say. Thank you.